Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kerbal Fail Program video, and today we are starting at the Space Plane Hangar. Uh, and uh, yeah, full disclosure guys, I did want to do a uh, time lapse of the build, uh, but unfortunately the file got corrupted, so uh, yeah, sorry about that in advance. Uh, but today's project is going to be launching a uh, rover to Dreads, a very, very big rover, as you can see, we're looking at the back section of it right now, you see a little bit better view near the uh, closer to the end of the video when we land. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, going to be going to Dreads as part of our Make Dreads Great Again colonization series. So we've already done some, uh, we have a space station, we have uh, SSTOs, we have landers, we have a scout rover, and now we have a big rover, um, which uh, is launching right now as uh, part four. Uh, for this video, I did actually want to kind of, you know, peel back the curtain per, yeah, that. Um, kind of show you guys what kind of the filming process is, or kind of what the raw footage looks like. I mean, it's edited, but um, what um, you know, what what my experience is with filming this, these videos. I thought this video would be good one to do it with because this video was a very big disaster to film. It was, you know, as you can see, my the craft is very very big. It weighs um, about it weighed about 800 tons at launch, and I burned some of its fuel while um, while flying out. Um, like the rover itself, the the vehicle. The, uh, the rocket itself, kilotons and kilotons, and you can see it's exploding right here. There will be many more explosions in this video. This video, I want to I want to show like the bloopers, all the outtakes, all the explosions, all the all the all the fun, right? Well, no, no, not very fun for me. And that's not frozen, by the way. Yeah, that just yeah. Well, this thing is just the kraken is everywhere for this video. And I thought, I thought it'd be fun to show. So you know, you know, you know, if you don't, I mean, I do like to in generally include failures, but this is including like, you know, this video is up there in terms of the worst videos or the hardest to film or the most cracking. Like, look here, I can't even move. Like, it just it stopped letting me move. It just the fairing immediately breaks, and then we just immediately go kaboom. It's actually cool these explosions though, seeing like everything fly everywhere. But I, you know, revert to revert to launch. Nope. <laughs> Maybe revert again? Yeah, nope, nope, still nope. So I did have to get rid of the fairings. So now you can actually see the rover in its its full glory, kind of, even though you can only really see the bottom. But, you know, then I try and, you know, I screwed up my staging, so then I just, you know, exploded it again. Um, let's see how this one works. I have, I fixed the staging, actually, um, surprisingly. And then I try and fire the engines, and... And, oh, did you look at that? We're, we're flying. That that will not happen for much longer. So, uh, this thing also has a horrible thrust to air ratio. It's like 1.2. I mean, that's not like horrible, horrible, but that's not what you want. This thing is also asparagusly staged uh, with a little quirk. Not a quirk, a stupid stupidity thing. So I have those four radially mounted boosters. They will stage away when they run out of fuel, and they are they're keeping the center core topped up. But I also have four smaller um, side cores. They do not detach. They just act as like a thrust to weight ratio helper. They have some engines at the bottom, some vectors. So the way it works is I burn the four, the four side cores, then I burn the small side cores, and then I will detach the four outer cores. And that would make it so we have enough thrust to weight ratio to actually get ourselves into, a, you know, into a orbit. Uh, and that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but you know, I just had to do it that way. Uh, there were probably easier ways, but, you know, when in doubt, let your engine fall out. <laughs> Why did it do that? I have no idea. I was just flying along, and then I just looked, and my engine just fell off. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> well, either way, I thought, you know what, that might just be a one-off situation. Let's, let's keep going. Let's try that again. But that was a one-off situation, because this time, something else broke. I don't know. That one was a little less climactic, but, you know, it still ended the mission, or ended the flight. The mission is still going, even though I should have, I should have just gave up. I was close to giving up, actually. This is, like I said, this is one of the hardest, most painful videos to film. This is up there with, um, my, uh, Duna base that I made. That one is one of the more painful videos as well. Um, Sending the Landers, uh, Artemis Part 2 was another one that was really bad. And this one, like I said, it, this time it just completely took out three of my four mini cores. Um, 
to be honest, that was more my fault um, because I should have paid more attention to how my you know thing was set up. One of them was left, but you know that didn't, I didn't have enough TWR to get anywhere after that. So I had to try that one again, mate. I don't your accent. I should stop doing that. Uh, but here we go. Uh, this time uh, we stage it away. And and yeah, no. we whack them again. And, uh, yeah, that time just, and I, you know, I figured, you know what, I might just try and go, you know, I have some of my engine left, maybe it'll work, you know, maybe, optimism, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, no, it, yeah, you'll see in a second what happens, yeah, the engines fall off again, <laughs> what is going on? <sighs> Let's see if this time works. 18th try is a charm. This time I put, um, Sepatrons on, but, like, I, I looked, and, oh my gosh. It only, it only, it only knocked off one of my pods, and, you know, it, it, it destroyed, like, a bunch of the fuel tanks, though, but, you know, those are already empty. That's just, that's just del Delta V saving maneuvers I did right there, totally intentional. So, I decided to see if I can make it to orbit like this, and, you know, surprisingly, uh, this was a successful attempt. We get into orbit. So, awesome and um so yeah basically the rest of this is just pretty much like a, a fairly standard uh, mission all the way until we do our uh, dreads landing uh, so you know we just get into orbit and then we do our move maneuver nodes we burn and then we do all that stuff so uh, while we uh, while we do this stuff because I know you guys have seen this a bunch of times so I'm trying to like spice up these videos a little bit just because you know this is part four of the series and we have gone to dreads every single time and I think it might get boring if we just launch rocket, make maneuver node, F you know, fly maneuver node, coast, do a correction burn, circularize, you know, that can get boring. So I've been trying to spice things up, like the last video has some pretty interesting docking at the end, and this video is going to, oh jeez, whack something, hopefully that wasn't too loud on the on the mic, but um, this video, you know, shows some of the bloopers, I think, hope, let me know if I'm doing a good job spicing things up, you know, if there's any suggestions you guys have, feel free to let me know. And um, on the topic of you guys, you guys have been incredible. Like, geez, I hit 300 subs yesterday, last night. I was watching the thing at 11, like 11:30, 11 for maybe closer to midnight. But it happened. I hit three, yeah, maybe a little after midnight. But I hit 300 subs. Thank you very much. And I'm already at 316 this morning. So, like, thank you. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you don't want to. Um, then don't. But you know, if you're interested, feel free. Uh, the channel growth has been insane. I have a goal to um, hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I thought that'd be a pretty nice, good goal to have, and it might actually happen. So thank you guys. If you know, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. Or you know, don't if you don't want to. It's up to you. Uh, but you know, there are just studies that say if you you know if you remind people to you know if they have the option that maybe they will subscribe a little bit more. Um, just you know, because maybe some people aren't thinking about subscribing when they're watching a video and. I don't know. If you don't like the plugs, I don't really like doing them, but, you know, let me know. I'll stop. <laughs> uh, so now we're doing our circularization burn now. Uh, pretty standard stuff, and you can kind of get a little bit better look at the front of the rover. I actually spent a long time on this rover. It's kind of sad that I didn't get to do the build time lapse, because I really wanted to focus on the build, because I think this is, it'd be fun to show you guys what I kind of did for the build. Uh, and, you know, see if you guys have any input, or we could have, I don't know. But, oh well. What can you do? I'll, I'll try and do a build time lapse in, in the near future, and we can, you know, talk about that. Because I think, you know, discussing the build, you know, you, you see what I did, and let me know what I did wrong, probably everything. But, you know, yeah, oh well, you, you get what you get. And uh, I'll talk about the features of this rover a little bit while we do our, our interplanetary burn. This thing, uh, if, you, if you didn't know this, by the way, I have no, like, interplanetary stage. I just have those wolfhounds attached to the structural things in the back. Uh, that's because uh, this rover is a refueling rover, uh, basically. It actually is, a, it's basically an all-purpose rover, so it has it has those giant fuel tanks that you probably saw. Like, it has, if you fully fueled it, it is over a kiloton in weight. Like, I'm going to probably, um, I'll probably calculate the actual weight, or I'll have KSB calculate the weight for me, and then I'll probably put it on the thumbnail because, you know, you got to get people to click on the video, right? You know, you know, like you know, one point whatever kiloton rover. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good title if you ask me, or a pretty good thumbnail picture. Maybe it's not. Maybe my my video making skills are very bad. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> uh, so it's doing the correction burn. It's pretty standard correction burn. 
Uh, I've been getting pretty good at these Dreads encounters, uh, but I'm doing them so much. So, you know, I guess it's good practice. But uh, the uh, the rover itself is, it does have all those fuel tanks, and it also has room for, like, hundreds of Kerbals, which is pretty nice. And it has uh, mining and refining capabilities, so it, it can act as, like, a bus. It can act as, like, a, it's, like, basically just a mobile base. And it also has a little tiny drone you might be able to take up in a future video. I didn't fly it in this video just because uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to record. But uh, stay tuned for the next one and uh, maybe or next Make Sure It's Gradient video. And maybe we'll f take the uh, take the drone out for a flight. It's not that big of a drone. It's, it's pretty puny. It's mounted to the back of the uh, back to the rover uh, it, on the, the back balcony. There's like there's base. Uh, it's, no, it's on the back kind of roof area. There, there are two balconies on the rover, one in the front, one in the back. And then there's like a little roof area in the back. You know, I, I try to I try to do something creative, and it probably just ends up looking bad. I don't know. Matt Lown makes great rovers. If you want to see a good rover, go to Matt Lown's videos. They are insane. His rovers. He has. He's he's very good at that like creative stuff. I like, you know. Does a good job. My rovers just end up looking like big circles with you know tubes and and, and wheels at the bottom. You know. I I really actually I, I spent a lot of time on this rover trying to make it a little bit more character -y, a little more character to it. I thought maybe I succeeded, but it still looks a little bit bland and, you know, like completely symmetrical and stuff. But, you know, hey, hell, let me know what you guys think. And um, on the topic of that, um, I don't know what happened with our uh, Delta V thing, by the way. I, I think it's just the engines being turned off or something weird like that. But um, on the topic of you guys again um, and letting me know stuff, um, let me know what kind of videos you want to do in the future. I have a few things in the uh, back cat. There's see time warp screwing up there, so I have to kind of reload a quick save. But I have a few ideas in the in the back catalog, and I just want you to let me know what you guys think would be a good idea for a uh, near near future video idea. Uh, so if you have any input, uh, we I you know let me know. Feel free. Uh, if you don't, um, you can just not listen to me right now. Uh, so uh, a few options. Um, I've been thinking of doing some top ten videos because I, I noticed not a lot of people have done top ten videos in Kerbin or Kerbal. Like you know, top ten planets in KSP, top ten engines in KSP. I think that'd be a fun video to do. So let me know if you're interested in that. Um, one video I for sure want to do is I want to get some asteroids and crash them into each other. Uh, so I'm going to capture two asteroids and then get them in opposite orbits around Kerbin, and then they'll crash into each other at like four thousand meters a second. It'll be amazing, and I don't know what'll happen. It'll probably break the game, but that'd be really fun to do. So let me know if you're interested in any of those ideas, or want me to expedite any of them because I'll, I'll for sure do them. But you know, they're they're all fairly longer videos to make, just because you know, the you know, top ten videos require a lot of editing, and the asteroid video requires building a rocket and then managing to crash two asteroids together, which is that is not an easy task uh, because uh, just I think you can figure out why. That is that is not easy, but you know maybe we'll do it. And then for uh, make dress great again, you know I I don't think I'll spoil what, what what's coming next. You guys will have to you have to stay tuned. Uh, it's not really that you know it's not like <laughs> it's not like there's gonna be a big plot twist or something. But you know I don't know maybe we'll we have, I have some fun stuff planned, and some fun stuff that is happening right now is us finishing our circularization burn around Drez or almost finishing it. And then we can get ready to do the landing, which was an entire episode on, uh, you know, in and of itself. An entire just disaster. Because <laughs> the way I land this thing, I should have probably thought of a more intricate landing system, but I didn't. Uh, the, the way it works is I just basically landed on those wolfhounds, and I have some Werner engines up front that will just kind of lower the, lower the front down. So I land on the back, and then I lower the front. The problem is the front is very high up relative to the back. And those Werner engines are not very powerful, considering the the rocket or the the lander is so heavy. It is very explodey on landing. You will see the explosions, but it's explodey because uh, you know a lot of times the the front will come down way too hard and just explode. So you guys will see that here in a second. We'll do a little bit of a crash montage when you get there, but. At least we're trying. I'm trying to land semi close to where my scout rover is because it it, it kind of mapped out my location for. Uh, for my colony, basically, where the base is going to be at, or the main home base, if you will. 
of of the of the series. So I'm trying to land semi close to there. Not perfect, obviously, but you know we have a rover we can drive. But here is uh, landing attempt number one as we come down. Uh, actually, on most of the attempts, I never even got to slipping it forward because it exploded before I even got to that. So here we go on the ground. Explosion. Big explosion. Big, 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 big explosion. Uh, because I ran out of fuel in that one. We hit a little bit, a little bit harder than I would have liked. Uh, clearly, clearly harder than I would have liked. Trying it again now. Coming in nice and quickly. And I believe I don't remember how much on this attempt. I think I may run out of fuel as as well on this one. And and no, this one. Yeah, this one. This one. I yeah, I do run out of fuel. I try and like kind of flip it forward, yeah, no. And those Werner engines need liquid fuel and oxides to run on, so I uh, I actually can't use them. Um, so yeah, we just explosion, it, it freezes up and we, big, 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 big explosion. We like big explosions, don't we guys? They're the best. Let's see how this attempt works. Oh, 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 this one looks good, except for the fact that we are, you know, a little bit backwards. That 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 part is less good. The you know the the us being backwards part, but the the rest of it. No, the rest of it was all just bad. This is this is not. This is no. Don't for your own sanity. Do not launch payloads like this unless you want to spend hours doing that. When you know when you could be doing so much more with your life, like having a productive life. Instead, you know, the news is exploding stuff. No. There's another explosion. This one, this one was better. This one was way better. But a bunch of wheels fell off. I was, I was really close to almost just going with it and being like, eh, no one will notice. You know that half of the wheels are missing, but yeah, no, some, someone, someone noticed, and that was me. Like you can't, <laughs> yeah, that you know, you, you can't just be driving around with like missing wheels that would have been stupid but uh this one actually though is looking a little bit a little bit a little bit more promising uh we have landed um and not flipped completely sideways so that's that's a good start and uh, i have to i'm being really careful with the Werner engines just i'm you know pretty paranoid that the nose is going to start falling real quick and it starts to do right here like i have full up right now on the Werners. I'm pulling as hard as I possibly can up on them, and they, and you know, it's the nose is still coming down quicker, or the front coming down quicker, quicker. Will it explode? Will it explode? <gasps> no! Oh my, yeah, it, it it didn't explode. Oh my, we've landed. We've we've done did it, and we are now rolling down the hill. So I'm like, oh my god, let's turn up the brakes. Turn up the brakes. Turn up the brakes. And I I need to start hitting the brakes here in a second, or else we're just gonna explode because we we're gonna fall down the the, the hill. Come on, engines, engine, and brakes, not engines, we need brakes, 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 and, oh, jeez. That was a lot of brakes, wasn't it? I was a little worried we were going to flip forward there. <sighs> that was just a disaster. But we're here, guys. Oh, like, we, you know, it's been a disaster, but we've made it. And you can see our nice uh, Make Sure It's Great Again sign on the front, uh, Jeb and Bill. You've made it, guys. Get a nice views of the rover. Nice looks, looks around at the rovers. And then that'll do it for today's video. So uh, stay tuned for the next Make Sure It's Great Again video. Uh, they are once every other day they happen. And this thing will uh, basically be our starting point for our base. We'll do some drilling with it. We'll get the drone out. We'll do all that stuff for the next one and do some other fun stuff because we eventually have to get Jeb and Bill, the two candidates, out to the, to the, the colony. But they are not here yet. So uh, until then. I will like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please write our comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.